is meteorologist Tom Atkins. Your weather report. We will uh, start you out in Edinburgh where you got a little light snow falling as you look at uh, Mallory Lake and the gazebo there. Can't really see much of Mallory Lake. Uh, 29 degrees right now in the Edinburgh area. So let's just set the stage here. Everybody is under a winter storm warning. Most of them kick in tonight midnight and thereafter, and most of them last into Sunday afternoon or very early Monday morning. So this is a weekend event. It's a winter storm. It's going to affect all of our area. Nice thing that happened today. We added three minutes of daylight. Uh, so here's uh, weather in a nutshell again for you. Some light snow overnight, the heaviest snows tomorrow, and tomorrow night, then the snow goes away. It gets very windy and much colder on Sunday and Monday. So you think about those practical things before we even get into snow accumulations. It's going to get cold, okay? And for some of you, that'll be worse than the snow. So check on the pets, the elderly, those susceptible to the cold, especially as you're getting into Sunday and Monday. But let's back up the bus to right now. 32 freezing in Erie, 29 Meadville and Franklin, 30 in Warren. Some light snow in the air. And the wind's not a big factor right now out of the northwest at 5. Five to 10, so it feels more like the upper teens to mid 20s. Now, these numbers, these wind chill numbers, will go below zero as we go into Sunday and Monday. So, again, that's the wind and the cold portion. Now, the snow portion is way out here near Oklahoma City. It is just organizing. And as you take a look at the radar and satellite imagery, yeah, there's a skiff of snow coming through our area, but there's a whole lot of time to work with here. So, let's uh, talk about timing here, first of all, with your maps in motion. We'll take the evening period, and again, this, this kind of arm comes through probably three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning. So you don't get a lot of snow tonight. This is the storm down here, and that starts to thump us tomorrow. During the day, Saturday, just look for the dark blue, Erie to Pittsburgh, eastward to State College. Now, the storm itself is taking a more southerly track. So as you go into Sunday morning, it's affecting more areas to the south and east of Erie than Erie itself. On Sunday, it's doing two things. It's pulling away, and it's pulling this wicked cold flow across the lakes. Now, that's not going to give a lot of lake effect, but it's going to give a lot of cold and wind on Sunday. And then this high comes in from Monday, which some of you may have the holiday, so there's probably sun and more dry weather, but it is still bitterly cold on Sunday. After that, look at this. Red streamers, wind out of the south, a warm-up for Tuesday. So we'll go into the storm track in a little bit more detail. Let's just do some accumulations uh, into Sunday. 6 to 10, Erie to Meadville, Warren County, you're going to get the most of this, 8 to 14. So that's what you can plan on this weekend. What you can plan on for the lakeshore for tonight, snow develops, less than an inch of accumulation, 19 to 23. If you're south of 90, Edinburgh, Titusville, Meadville, and Cory, snow possible, less than an inch, 17 to 21. So tonight's not the problem. French Creek, Scandia, Tyanesta, some light snow late. 13 to 17. Now it's going to intensify tomorrow, uh, 3 to 6 inches across the board, highs in the 20s. The wind intensifying tomorrow night, 3 to 5 Erie, around 6 in Meadville, 5 to 8 in Warren. And on Sunday, just blustery and bitterly cold, the snow diminishes, and so do the temperatures. As we said, wind chill factors below zero Sunday and Monday, but Monday could just bring some sunshine. And look at that, 33 on Tuesday, maybe some rain, 36 on Wednesday, and then we go back down on Thursday and Friday. So you can check out the forecast in more detail at yourerie.com.